Hi there, I'm Mo, without my apron yet, but welcome to Jay's Toy Collection, UK. Hi there, and welcome back once again to Jay's Toy Collection, UK. Now, I've probably become a little infamous for collecting far too many action figure lines, and uh, yeah, I've gone and done it again. So, for the last couple of weeks, I've been up in the toy room making changes, so that will be a video upcoming on the channel once I finish, but I'm still going. So, over that time period, Lots of toys have been arriving, so uh, below me is quite the action figure haul. So I thought today we would go through it. So Cheeky Monkey Kiara is hopefully in the process of uh, panning down, as we like to say, and showing you this pile that stands before me, this almost great wall of action figures you can probably see. So when she reaches the bottom, you'll probably see a brand new line here in Judge Dredd, three and three quarter inch higher toys. We've got all varieties of WWE. We've got Legends... And we've got Colosseum Collection Ultimates. We've got Masters of the Universe, Mythic Legions. For the first time in the figure room, AEW. I don't know how that's happened. We've got Animaniacs. We've got Simpsons from Super 7. Gargoyles. Literally, it's all going on. So in today's video, we're going to go over this sort of epic haul, is all they can really call it. PayPal credit, of course, has done me a great favour again. Because without that, I would be absolutely knackered. So... With no further ado, I will now take you through the toy pile. Right then, we will start with a sort of brief overview, then we will get into a closer look. So, AEW has arrived there, and as you can see, yeah, I went quite deep, but they were in the sale. So, most of those, most, got for about 10 to £12, most of them. And a Maniacs there from Super 7. You should be able to then see the Simpsons there again from Super 7, the rest of Wave 1. There's the recent Legends lineup of WWE, Fotu, Samu and WCW Hulk Hogan. Come over to Skeletor and Screech that has just come out from Masters of Universe Origins. We've then got the Mythic Legions pack there of the, from the War of the Aether Blade. Then we've got... From Mattel Creations, it is Jake the Snake Roberts and Ravishing Rick Rude in the Colosseum Collection Ultimates. There's more Simpsons. There is a Super 7 Masters of the Universe Filmation figure there. There is the brand new collection that just arrived this morning. So if anybody was on my Instagram story the other day, that was the question I was answering. It was Judge Dredd from Higher Toys, which is the new line I've collected. There's a couple of gargoyles in Broadway and Brooklyn. There's Terry Funk from the Colosseum Collection. And there's a brand new version of Teela in her sort of snake armour there. And there's a random John Cena. So that's the pile. So what I will do is now sort of, I'll have to deconstruct this sort of epic wall I've made. I'll sort of take you through individually what we've got in it. Right then, first off, the chopping block. Yeah, get it? Chopping block is Chopper himself, or Jitsu, I do believe. Um, he was originally called in the toy line but of course in the cartoon they changed it to chopper so there is chopper from the filmation super seven he-man and the masters of the universe from the 1980s so this is quite a hard one to come get hold of really it's a power con exclusive but i managed to get him on ebay it wasn't too bad i think i paid about 65 pounds for him something along like that so i was quite pleased with that so nearly nearly complete now on the masters of the universe collection the filmation super seven still just need man at arms but chopper was one i didn't think i was going to be able to get so i managed to get him so quite pleased with him right so on to the absolute newest collection which is the judge dread three and three quarter inch from higher toys so as a rule i don't collect three and three quarter inch but this thing just looks so detailed quite a bit tempted so having gone into the marble 375 and some of the dc superpowers i've kind of strayed so i thought hmm I am a quite a big fan of Judge Dredd, so while these were still available in the UK, I jumped on them and pretty much bought every figure that was available. So that was Judge Fire. Here is my favourite judge, Judge Death. Even comes with the, the beating, bleeding heart. That's for really cool accessories. So, as I said, age 15 plus. Very, very detailed for three and three quarter inch figures. So, got these from Star Action figures in the UK. They were still all available. And I even did some pre-orders. So you won't actually see Judge Dredd himself here. There's Judge Fear. But because Judge Dredd and Judge Anderson, I've got them coming with the Lawmaster with the bike. So I've pre-ordered those from Props and Replicas. So Higher Toys have recently announced, as we look at Judge Mortis here, 
a six inch line of Judge Dread, but they're retailing for a hundred pounds each. So these at 22, I thought, actually, let's try a bit of world building here. Cause as I say, I do really like Judge Dread. One of the comics I've actually read from, uh, from back in the day. So there's Judge Hershey and Judge Giant as well was the last of the, the judges I picked up. So I'm gonna try a bit of sort of fancy displaying. I've even bought sort of like a Games Workshop style there. Uh, diorama piece so i can try and make sort of the cursed earth mega city one sort of display so there's a clegg which of course is like an army building crocodile so i had to of course buy a pair of them right we're literally going in order i can grab it from the pile so here is snake Tila, the mind controlled snake woman from masters of the universe origins when he pre-ordered these like three weeks ago so wasn't expecting the bill so soon but uh, this has come in at props and replicas in the uk i don't think the whole wave has has arrived yet but the snake trooper and slammer eye and king randall i didn't order all those but i did order snake tila because i think she looks really cool and then from the same delivery of course i went for skeletor and screech so my first bird in the uh, masters of universe origin display i really do like the uh the deco on sort of skeletor here a more disco sort of looking skeletor so very bright and sort of crazy colors on him so he will go well with the origins of course snake mountain's been recently pre-ordered must have been a pricing area amazon though on the uk about 67 pounds i think for snake mountains so that's clearly wrong so hopefully that comes at a bargain price so master of the universe still going strong in the toy collection right we're keeping the randomness going it's sort of wrestlemania 2 era terry funk so this is the Colosseum Collection, the Ultimate Editions from Mattel Creations. But I didn't get this from Mattel Creations. I use Rock and Roll Collectibles here in the UK because they were selling them separately and I didn't want the, the Hulk Hogan. So if I show you the back, yeah, there's the white Hulk Hogan but with the red trunks. So I didn't want him because of the red trunks. So luckily, I could buy Terry Funk separately. Random eBay purchase. So the WrestleMania 23 John Cena, a figure I didn't even know existed. So I had to backtrack when I saw that. Of course, when he faced Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 23 in the green sort of shorts. So backtracked and got him. Again, a bit of an eBay bargain. We'll keep the wrestling going for this section. Again, from Rock and Roll Collectibles here in the UK. Do use discount code WFE for 10% off. So that always helps. This is WCW Hulk Hogan. So, of course, with the uh, recent failure of the Monday Nitro crowdfunding arena. Well, that's caused me to do a whole change in my toy room because I got annoyed. But here is Hulk Hogan that would have gone beautifully with that said arena. But I'm still going to make a Nitro arena myself. And some of you keen eyed fans out there might recognise the original Uso himself. It is Rikishi, of course, but in his original sort of Fotu look when he was a head shrinker in WWE. So. This comes sort of his outfit he wore at WrestleMania 9. Of course, the first thing I'd watched when WWE was WrestleMania 9, so it always holds good memories for me. So to finally have the head shrinkers is pretty cool. So there is Fatu, and of course there is his tag team partner, of course, Samu himself. So Fatu and Samu in the recent line of WWE Legends. There is a chase version where they are in their Samoan squats team WCW outfit, but I didn't pick those up just yet. And I still need Paul Heyman, but he was out of stock. Right, now this one's a bit of a beauty. This is from my big bad toy store pile of loot that I've been waiting to ship until some gargoyles came in. So we'll go through those next. But this is Gorgo Aoife Blade 2 and Attila Leosa 2 from the War of the Aoife Blade video game from Mythic Legions. And the paint apps on these are absolutely astronomical. The gold is so shiny, it may not come through fully on camera. And there's the detail in the in the head sculpts and everything and the that lion's mane I just really really like this pack from mythic legions so they've got a bit of a pride of place in the toy room at the moment i have my mythic legions collection so i'm looking forward to getting this one unboxed but with all the toy room changes it might be a while right it's gargoyle's time it really is but he is my least favorite gargoyle here is brooklyn never liked brooklyn always thought he's a bit grumpy and stroppy in the uh, in the cartoon but i gotta collect them all so he was in my pile of loot and has been shipped so really nice to actually uh, get these over because they're not actually released in the uk which is pretty irritating because i am quite the big gargoyles fan but there is brooklyn with all his accessories but one of my more favorite ones is coming up next 
Now, if there ever was a gargoyle designed after my body shape, of course, it's my boy Broadway. So let's get him open. He even comes with popcorn. Look at him. And his big old belly. He got like an action figure with a belly. So much more excited to be getting Broadway. And talking gargoyles, Lexington finally gone up for pre-order this week. And he has got bendy flexible wings. So that's going to be a, a real bonus when getting Lexington. So I am debating where to put the gargoyles in the toy room at the moment. So any ideas do let me know. I've had suggestions of hanging on the ceiling because they've kind of lost their space. I was thinking of hanging them on the wall and maybe doing like a comic book sort of display behind them. Oh, if you heard that, that was Cheeky Monkey having a sneeze. You okay there, dear? She's all right. There you go. Don't have to apologise. We can. We're keeping it in. We like keeping it here on Jay's Toy Collection UK. Of course, do like, comment, and subscribe for more sneezes to come from Cheeky Monkey. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, dear. Shocking. So there is Broadway. Right back to wrestling, and it's more Coliseum Collection Ultimates, but this time in the form of Jake the Snake Roberts and Ravishing Rick Rude. So I did get these from Mattel Creations, and six bloody weeks ago I ordered these, and they're supposed to be in stock. So. What on earth took them that long to ship it? I don't know. They actually did ship it. And it took a week, but they were pissing about. So they're finally here. So that is a bendy wire snake for the first time in WWE with Jade the Snake there. So that's going to be quite fun to wrap around his opponents in his Ultimate Edition. And there's Rick Rude, of course, gyrating, showing off his crotch. He does come with his robe. But they're in these little sort of accessory trays. And you are accessories included inside there. So I will be getting these open. Now I'm trying a sort of... 80s wrestling diorama display is one of the new rings you'll be seeing six rings are coming to the channel six rings so lots of wrestling to come the simpsons hope you like my singing there so here is the rest of wave one of super seven ultimate simpsons so originally i only bought homer and mo but having opened them they were so good I've literally ripped out three shells in the living room because Cheeky Monkey likes The Simpsons now. So I'm allowed to display those downstairs. So backtracked and got the rest of the wave. Never liked Poochie. It was not one of my favourite episodes, but I'm definitely going to be a completionist on this line. So Poochie has been purchased. Five, 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 five. It's itchy and scratchy robots. So here they are. Itchy and scratchy robots. I basically bought these just for the bought licence plate. So, but this is a much better episode than The Simpsons. I do like Itchy and Scratchy Land, of course, taking the piss out of Disneyland and Jurassic Park. So there is Scratchy in all his glory. Massive, these figures, though. They are really, really big in hand. And you can't have Scratchy without a bit of Itchy. So there is the Itchy robot from the same episode. So the bought license plate is hidden in the top of the package, and I can see it, but I can't focus in on the camera. So I will get these fully unboxed in a separate video and do a whole sort of Simpsons collection as I build that throughout the coming years. Because of course with Wave 5 they have announced they're doing Classic Marge and Classic Lisa and Classic Groundskeeper Willie. So it actually gets some classic looking characters rather than these random variants. It's going to be pretty cool. One is a genius, the other's insane. The singing just continues today because look at these fuckers, Pinky and the Brain. Now I love Pinky and the Brain and the Maniacs. Can't stand. Used to irritate the piss out of me as a kid. But I loved the Pinky and the Grain segment. To this day, every Saturday morning, I still go to the Kiara in bed. And she asks what we're going to do today. And I say, well, I'm going to do what we do every day. I'm going to try and take over the world. So to finally have Pinky and the Brain figures. These things, again, are fucking huge. I don't know what's going on to Brian Flynn here. But he's making these ultimates massive. Seven-inch scale. These are more like ten-inch scale. So really looking forward to getting these crazy head sculpts here on pinky and that's a shot of my hand and there's the brains box it's literally wider than my hand it's absolutely bloody massive so i was going to keep these mint on car but there's nobody wearing to do that because that ain't going to hang on my wall that'll fall off in seconds but here is the brain grumpy little bastard he is so very very impressive figures here from super seven excuse me i'm just choking to death here i need some water i think uh, but yeah pinky and the brain finally in the toy collection Far too many Super 7 bills recently, but when they're really cool like this, it kind of is worth it, isn't it? Right then, the last bit of the toys. It is the AEW Wrestling Collection that shouldn't have started, but kind of did. So, if you don't know, AEW are doing their biggest show ever in the UK. So All In is announced for the end of August at Wembley Stadium here in the UK. And I have managed to secure myself and Cheeky Monkey Kiara some very cheap seats at the back. So we're going to AEW and I thought, well, 
can't really go to AEW and not have an AEW figure collection to represent that. So that's what I did. So I'll just take you through briefly what I managed to get. But a lot of these I did manage to pick up in the sale because it doesn't seem to make sell too well over here in the UK. So that was a bit of a that was a bit of a bonus. So here is Malachi Black in the Supreme Edition. It's their version of the Ultimates. You get three different heads. You get interchangeable legs and everything on on this one. So he was full price. He was about fifty pound because he was he was new. But the rest more like bargains. So I need a ring. So I had to backtrack and get the uh, the sort of authentic scale ring. There managed to pick that up for less than fifty pounds. I think PhillipsToys.co.uk had some clearance stock, so that was helpful. So I will be doing a full AW ring display upstairs in the toy room. So at the top here, of course, we have Sting. So somebody can shout it's Sting in the comments in Tony Giovanni's voice. Oh, and talking Tony Shivani. I haven't actually bought him yet, so I've got to, got to go and find me a Tony Shivani. So there is, of course, the icon himself, Sting, one of my favourite wrestlers growing up, so I hope he does appear at the show, and I can sort of watch him retire. Street Fighter, you say? So, Fighter Fest 2019, the Young Bucks did dress as Ken, Ryu, and Akuma with Kenny Omega, so I have managed to get these exclusive versions of the Young Bucks in their Street Fighter cosplay outfits so here's that was a uh, ken and here is of course ryu as matt and nick in those outfits so lots of street fighters to come with jada toys and storm collectibles at the moment and one i really quite enjoy kenny omega as a kuma i do like that that red hair there some very cool boxes on these on these street fighter figures so we'll now just briefly go through all the figures in the pile as I take down the wall. So I need a commentator. So good, good old JR, Jim Ross has been purchased. We have got Orange Cassidy. Again, Orange Cassidy was in the sale. So let's say about 11 pounds, I think I picked most of these up for. We've got Powerhouse Hobbs himself there. We've got next, member of the Dark Order. I tried to pick up a few, I'm dropping it live on camera here. And we've got little Johnny Hung himself, John Silver. Are they gonna balance as I try and balance all these? Thunder Rosa, I think, is up next. Yeah, there's Thunder Rosa. Trying to build out my female division. I did have a couple of AEW figures. So I suppose it was a lie, so I didn't have any. I've got a Kenny Omega, and I've got the bloody Brit Baker, and I've got an MJF already. But there's Adam Hangman Page, comes with his beers. Very controversial one at the moment, seems to be. CM Punk himself. Again, I think he was about £10, so can't argue with that. I got at least 11 of them for about £120, so... That was good. Christian, a bit of a dad bod on Christian these days. We've got Eddie Kingston there as well. Nearly through him. Of course, a late great Mr. Brody Lee himself with the TMT title. Also my first version of that belt. So it's good to have all the belts. Evil Uno, another man fashioned after my own body type there. Two more to go. Now this man, oh, I'm trashing the gaff here. It is Ricky Starks, absolute Ricky Starks. I've seen this man's anus. That's a bonus. So he was at a local wrestling show here a few years ago, and uh, his pants got pulled down, so I've seen this man's bottom. So there is Ricky Starks. And who have I killed there? It's Brian Cage. He can stay over there. I can't reach him. So that is the AEW pile, and I'm kind of now sort of surrounded by figures as I've taken down the wall. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The toy wall has been destroyed. That was all the figures I picked up over the last two or three weeks or so. Far too many as ever. And will I get around to unboxing them some point within hopefully the year of 2023? But I do hope you enjoy these sort of toy haul videos. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. Because there's always toys coming in here, so it always gives me something to film here. On a Saturday morning I film this, so hopefully I will get it up for Saturday evening. So please do comment as they say, like and subscribe as again ever so close to a thousand subscribers here in 2023. So it does help. So I have been Jay. This has been Jay's Toy Collection UK. And Cheeky Monkey Kiara now will just finish off the video with a quick pan down of my fancy sort of morning shorts and what's remaining of the toy pile. And we will see you, of course, on the next video.